Hey, 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 superstars, happy summer. This is my May update video. I do hope you're all doing very well. You guys really spoiled me this month for some reason, so I got plenty of carrot packages and gifts to show off. A late VR for The Drew and lots of Don Mossy because who doesn't love some Don Mossy? I usually try to sneak in a VR or two in my update videos. I wanna do one for Lou Rock TV, who wants to see a relic card lineup, but I had to order a couple of relic cards, so I haven't gotten those in yet. This one is for the Drew, and it is late. Sorry, the Drew, but you know, I don't care about winning anything. It's just about showing some support. The Drew makes some great videos where he mostly just tells fascinating stories about collecting, and he wanted to hear about a card that we don't like, but we have to have it in our collection for some reason or another. Really, the way I see it, though, is if you don't want a card in your collection, don't put it in your collection. But I know there are a lot of completionists out there, and, and I'm kind of guilty of that as well. Uh, like, here's my complete 80s Tops Indians binder, and then there's this dirt bag. So I don't mind doing this. Let's move on or pause this video and go check out the Drew real quick. Another sort of new channel that you should check out is Dylan over at Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. Dylan is so enthusiastic and passionate and meticulous and very, very fun to watch. And he sent these all the way from Hawaii. We've got a very nice note. Thank you so much for your support and keep making magical creations. Thanks, man. These are some stickers his wife Lauren made. She's a very cool artist too. Dig those. Uh, very nice 75 Indians team card with Frank Robinson, who was the very first black manager that year. Love that card. Super nice 58 Larry Doby. When Dylan buys a card, he sort of grades it himself, so that's really, really cool. And we've got a very nice 71 Rich Hand. When you get a 71 card, you're supposed to talk about how hard it is to find these in nice condition because of the black borders. Well, this one is super nice, so thanks, Dylan. These are so rad. Worthy of some double shakas for sure. This one is from COG Sports Cards. Snake and Rusty Nuts host a fun live stream every Sunday night where they open some really cool boxes and their channel is growing like crazy. Here's a limited edition COG sticker, 1981 All-Star Game card from Fleer. This one was in Cleveland and I made a video about Morgana coming onto the field and giving Lynn Barker a kiss. It's fun stuff. Uh, Terry Francona, rookie I didn't have. He's a future Hall of Famer. Still probably won't be worth anything, but I love it anyway. They like to give me crap about the Guardians name change, but as long as they send me cool Bernie cards. I don't mind. Uh, Brian Sipe. I need to learn my football card years a little better. Uh, Kozar lets it go. Hey, great minds think alike. It must be Frank Robinson month. And here's a 58 team card. I believe that's a little nicer than the one that I have. So thanks guys. Great stuff. These are through PSA and Slab City. I didn't have enough cool stuff that I wanted to send in to Garrett to get authenticated, so I just piggyback onto Dustin's order from Dustin and Blake. It's all very convoluted and I'm sure you don't care, but thanks Dustin. He threw in some extras, this big sexy and a hamburger and Kellogg's 3D Len Barker, who I just mentioned, that's awesome. So this card was gifted to me by Andy from Flying Dutchman Cards when we were hanging out at the National last year. Super excited about Phil and Joe Necro. Great card, despite the pinstripes. And Hall of Famer Al Lopez. Basic submission is perfect for these TCMA cards. And I'm glad to see both of these pass. Thanks again, Dustin. Pickups from eBay this month. I bought some more autographs from my Guardians roster project. Here is an ugly Eli Morgan card, Brian Lavastida, and top prospect Gabriel Arias, who had a cup of coffee with the big boys. Here is a short print Jose Ramirez that I had to have. I really love those baseball-shaped bullpen carts. We need more of those. Um, I promised you some Don Mossy. Here's the 59 autographed. I still need the 63, and he's got a few of those multiplayer leaders cards that I haven't grabbed yet, but I think the official player run is almost done. From my LCS, Triple Play Vintage, who just started a YouTube channel, if you're interested in checking that out. Um, I picked up a bunch of binder fodder from the 60s that I already put away. Here's a 51 Bowman Luscious Luke Easter rookie, and I bought a signed Tony Fernandez ball for my 97 World Series team project. Last week, I went to Pittsburgh to the Mainline Show, which is a great show. I got to hang out with Math Bowler, Don's Field of Dreams cards, Dean Gerhardt, yeah, I collect it all, Wade Boggs fan, and Bob Lewis. It was so great hanging out with all those guys. I didn't buy a lot just because, I don't know, just because, but I did pick up an SP Manny. I'd been looking for one of those. Another Terry Francona rookie signed. I might be able to complete this one if I get my TTM card renewed. 51 Bowman Al Lopez. This one's a high number I don't see very often. 51 Redback Bob Kennedy. I 
Didn't really need this one slab, but the price is right. And a beautiful 1962 Don Mossy. I saw this card at the show last year and I was kicking myself for not grabbing it, but I was very happy that the dealer still had it. Bob Lewis had a little team bag gift for me. I just want to give Bob a hug, you know? I just can't express what a good guy he is. Here's Kenny, Jimmy, Blue Sparkles, Francisco, Doby, Feller, Green Sparkles, Neon Bieber, Jose Bieber, um, Juan Gon, Manny, ooh, El Presidente autograph, and a Tony Pena autograph, really cool. Eat Your Heart Out Four Leaf, a Wander rookie, uh, More Lofton, More Lindor, Omar, this guy, uh, Eddie, Kenny, Manny, and a Pank Jose Ramirez. Great stuff, Bob. Thanks, man. Math Bowler also had a couple gifts for me. Another really, really good guy. We got a little jewel box here. This oversized 84 Burt and a really cool Julio autograph. There's a John Ellis stamp. This, some 87s Heritage Team card. Baseball card day Jose, Carlos, Jimmy, some Duggies. Really neat CC Cy Young manufactured relic thing. Very cool. Uh, Kenny, Kenny on the Braves. That's not right. <laughs> Still cool though. Uh, more Kenny. More Kenny. I love it. But that's not all. Check this out. An oversized Mossy. He knew I had to have this. This is so great. Thanks, Stephen. I am going to hang this up in the bedroom. That is it for now. Keep being awesome, everybody. And please check out my friends, The Drew, Double D Vintage Sports Cards, COG Sports Cards, Dustin and Blake, Triple Play Vintage, Math Bowler, Don's Field of Dreams Cards, Dean Gerhart, Wade Box Fan, and Bob Lewis. Much love, guys. We'll see you real soon. And I'm just going to put that right back there.